obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the air heat transfer in a porous medium chamber. The problem simulates the airflow and heat transfer inside a cube shaped chamber consisting of a regular porous medium. The porous medium used in this chamber is in the form of rows and columns of several aluminum balls, the number of which is 343. The fluid in this chamber is air and there is no special air inlet or outlet for the chamber. The main purpose of this study is to investigate changes in air temperature inside the chamber under the influence of these items as a porous medium. In fact, the upper surface of the chamber has a constant temperature of 323 Kelvin and the lower surface has a constant temperature of 273 Kelvin and the side walls are also insulated. The present model is three-dimensional and is drawn using design modeler software. The present model is related to the chamber which has several spheres as a porous medium in three different directions. The total number of these spheres is 343. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 3,451,362. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. After double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box, you can see that we have enabled the energy equations since we wanted to calculate the temperature changes and temperature distribution inside our computational domain. Now if you click on this wall boundary uh, and click on edit button in the appeared window under the thermal tab, you can see that we have uh, selected the temperature thermal condition for this wall and the value of temperature applied on this wall boundary is equal to 273 Kelvin. Now if you click on the next wall boundary and click on edit button uh, in the appeared window under the thermal tab you can see that the coupled thermal condition is selected which means that this wall is in contact with fluid on its both sides. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now in this part, we have extracted 3D and 2D contours by the means of CFD post software. Now in this slide you can see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and as you can see here the region near the upper surface has a higher temperature comparison with the lower surface. And finally in this slide you can easily see the velocity changes of air flow inside the porous medium in our computational domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.